In 2014, Boston Mayor Marty Walsh commissioned the first long-term master plan for arts and cultural activities in more than 20 years. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at Suffolk University's Modern Theater in downtown Boston. And joining me is Boston's Chief of Arts and Culture, Julie Burroughs. Chief Burroughs, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about the arts and cultural scene here in Boston. What is your vision? Well, my vision is to create a cultural plan so that Boston can take its appropriate role as a municipal arts leader. And by having a cultural plan, we'll have a roadmap for really guiding the city's investment in the cultural sector. So Julie, tell us about the Mayor's Boston Creates initiative and explain to us your role. My role is to really be a thought leader and to help pull everyone together, get everyone on the same page. So we've had a uh, pretty dramatic public engagement process over the summer with Boston Creates. And we're really acknowledging that everybody has an impulse for creative expression and we value that and enhance that and really look at how can we move forward as a city by harnessing that creative energy for every kind of challenge we might have as a city. One of the new programs of the Mayor's Initiative is Artist in Residence. Tell us about it. We call it Boston AIR, A-I-R, Artist in Residence. And we'd like for working with artists in city government to be as common as the air that we breathe and to have artists breathe a breath of fresh air into sort of business as usual in a city department. So we've trained 10 liaison artists and 10 liaisons from city departments. And together they're gonna propose collaborations to look at how to do the city's standard kinds of of business in new, exciting, innovative ways. And we've seen public art become such an exciting thing across the world, and now, and now Boston has a piece of that and shifting more towards the public art. Tell us about some of the new installations. Yeah, I think the most notable one was done on the Greenway this summer, a piece by Janet Ackelman, temporary piece, very large scale, very impactful. And I think that's what we're seeing the field move towards, is temporary installations, very, co very contemporary living artists, and what was really great is that Janet Uckelman is a local artist, and it was the first time she had a large-scale piece in the Boston area. And tell us about some of the other installations. Yeah, well, we're looking at, um, one of the exciting things is how we're bringing arts into municipal buildings. Mm -hmm. So at the Bruce R. Bowling Building in Dudley Square, these are actually permanent installations as part of the new BPS headquarters. Again, it, it was an international competition, and all three artists turned out to be Boston-based artists. That's so gorgeous. they competed with the best, and we've got um, really exciting sort of interactive contemporary in the building, outside the building, and this was a new approach to municipal building with arts in incorporated in the structure. Now we've been seeing some changes going on at the Boston Public Library for some time now. So what can we expect? Yeah, well the Johnson um, wing of the library is going to finish up its, its uh, renovation in June. And then what you'll see really exciting is that there's going to be um, a, a space on Boylston Street that is a storefront sort of uh, production and broadcast studio that maybe you know we could have you come and do yes. some programs. Mm -hmm. um, GBH is going to be there doing some programming. And so that'll be very interactive, very cutting edge, new technology, really a fun new way to have learning um, incorporated into what the library does. So obviously you've had a lot of conversations with the leaders in the arts and cultural arena here in Boston. What are you hearing? I'm hearing that there are a lot of challenges for smaller organizations and challenges in particular for individual artists. They don't normally get the access to the kinds of resources that the larger, more established institutions get. And so there's a lot of organizations who, who are doing a lot with very little mm -hmm. and they're really squeezed. So we're trying to right size our investment and our support programs to really help them maximize their operations. Well, we really look forward to seeing this master plan come to fruition over the next few years. And Julie, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.